everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be going over all of my dogs storage and i did a poll on my instagram and it's currently still live so if you're seeing this uh friday the 21st <laughs> it's still live but if not sorry my bad um but so far a lot of people want to see my dog's gear i have i think one of my first videos i posted on youtube was a service dog gear tour thing and the video is kind of cringy not gonna lie because i didn't know what i was doing um but i pretty much got all new gear um i still have some of the old stuff that was in that video but i got a lot more gear i've sold a lot more gear um and yeah we're kind of in a different like vibe obviously our team colors is still pink but we're adding more yellows and purples into our gear but our main color is still pink with accents of different colors because like I have 10 pink vests how many more pink vests do I need it's time to start adding some color into it um, but today's video is going to be how I start store my dog's gear um, and if you hear squeaking in the background Stas has her disgusting like pig um, she's looking at me but anyways stay tuned all right, so here is like my gear. That's my front door, like to my room. And that's my gear. Ignore the trash, I'm sorry. Stas's bowl is there. Um, Stas is here. Um, and I do have my turtle lights off currently because I'm using the overhead for my room. My turtles are fine, don't worry about them. They're, they're good, they're, they're fine. Um, but I guess I'm going to start with how I store my collars. So I have like this shelf and this rod. So I just keep all of my collars on that. I think it's in some ears, um, but you can see them. Those are all my current collars. I got rid of a lot. Most of my collars go with a set. So like this beautiful one goes with this set. Um, this can go with any of my sets this pink one with this heart goes with this set um and like this is like her everyday collar that we use a lot but this also oh sorry this also goes with her um pup love harness the cloth one um and then i just have patch collars this is her fast cat collar that we use because my dog is a freaking strong german shepherd and she needs something that's really going to be strong um halloween collar this was her first collar like i said my dog's strong and she kind of ripped right off the d-ring um but that was before she was trained and all that good fun stuff i'm going to put this on the bed hi stas so i store my leash wraps on a hanger um and then my med bags is on the other side of the hanger um so this goes with a designer doodle vest that i have i've never used that bag sadly um but this is a great way i like to store them it keeps them like clean so i just keep them right here and kind of push back along my patch board wall i made this out of some felt felt from the craft store um and these okay so my patches started out as patch sets up here only and then i got lazy and didn't stick with my roll but they're mainly patch sets um so these are a set this is a set these are a set these are a set this is some julius canine ones that i have these are a set i do have more that goes with the set and those are a set and in here is the rest so on top of this i have um some dog treats that are like kind of grab and go the rest of my dog treats is in a corner in my, on the other side of my tank um but yeah these are just jam full with just patches random patches um in here and this is all of my tabs so i have this giant tab i have a smaller tab i have this beautiful tab these are my two newest tabs um and then the rest of them 
are just in there. I use harnesses way more than I use vests, so I will grab these before I grab any of my patches, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and here is just my dog's gear. So I got these cabinets. I have two. I have this one and I have that one. But these come from Ikea. And they actually come from the little kids section. So the stand itself was like $25. And you can get this either in white or wood. Um, and the buckets are like $4 a piece. And you can get them in any size you want. And you can get them with lids. So if like the openness of them like irritates you you can buy lids but i don't really care so this first one i have so much gear guys um is a cape i made um that was going with a white yup that i had up here but these are just all harnesses so i have my biothane harness a yup harness i think i have like two more yups three more yups in here um and then all of my fuzzy harnesses um and that pop love harness i was telling you guys about oh crap so that all lives in this front drawer don't question me i i know i have a lot trust me i know um this next drawer is fleece harnesses and uh, this patience and love that kind of don't fit anywhere um but these are all fleece harnesses very nice comfortable harnesses plus this giant pnl that stock only use if it's gonna rain or something we're going somewhere where she's gonna get muddy um and down here is my white yup and vests and capes um so those are vests and capes. Right here is where I house all of my leashes. I have this beautiful, beautiful biothane uh, leash with rose gold mm -hmm. hardware. We use this if we're going to the beach or if I'm training other dogs, I'll use this one. This is my friend's leash. I really need to give that back to her. I keep forgetting. Um, so Alexis, if you're seeing this, I still have your leash. Um, I have tabs um and just more biothane 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 oh and up there i have some handle wraps they're actually both the same one was a mistake and the other one is made right um but i don't really have nowhere specific to put them so they just live on top of my llamas or alpacas i'm not really sure what they are but this is my gear this is grab and go this is everything I use on like a daily basis. So I have like my regular leash, my e-collar, vest, um, harnesses, what I just need to grow quickly. I got it right here. So, yeah. so I hope this helps you on how I store my gear. I also keep her bandanas like on a hanger, like I do her uh, wraps in my closet, but they're just bandanas. Um, if you guys have any more questions, um, and, um, you can DM me on Instagram at WTF Shelby or comment them down below. Happy to help give someone some inspiration. Um, yes, that's thank you. And I'm going to the Amish to get her raw meat for her food. Um, I hope everybody have a wonderful Friday. I'm going to try to upload this today on the 21st. If I don't, I'm sorry. But yeah, bye guys.